guys, this is Ashley back um, with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. So Nicki Minaj successfully um, outstreams and outsells um, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's new single, Bozos. But Criminal B has a master plan. As we know, it was reported that um, last time I saw you did 1.95 million streams on the Payola Fi global charts within 24 hours. Um, one of her biggest debuts for 2023. Criminal B and Poom Poom Shorts um, Bimbo's debut at number 70 on the Payola Fi chart with 1.904 million streams so Nicki Minaj did a little bit more and she didn't have a music video and no radio at that time now it has radio but it didn't before now with that being said even though Nicki Minaj is out streaming and out selling Criminal B and Megan um, a lot of fans believe that bimbos can still go top 15 top 10 on the payola hot 100 because they are getting radio play and a lot of it. Now, initially, it was reported that Ben Bowles was going to debut in the top 50. But with radio play, it is um, going to debut um, in the top 20s on the Paola Hot 100. So after the Video Music Award performance, a lot of fans are banking that it's going to jump, you know, 10 spots on the Paola Hot 100. And um, make it to top 10, which would be Cardi B's first top 10 um, in 2023. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Not only that, Cardi B has a message to the people that don't like the song. Y'all gonna love this song. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I know that this is a different sound for y'all. This is a different sound for y'all. This is really Brazilian funk mixed with them both. And y'all gonna learn to love it. I gotta work with something different. I cannot be rapping about shooting all the motherfucking time. And spanking all the time. I gotta do a little something fun for the international. For the international. Y'all remember when Drake did that album and y'all was talking shit and then y'all loved it. Y'all don't give people, y'all don't give a chance. You ain't gonna, you, 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 you're not gonna get it the first time. You're not gonna get it. But you're gonna see. Play that motherfucking song. Did this hoe compare herself to Champagne Thickums? It's giving coke. I know she's not comparing Champagne Thickums catalog to a person with one album and a hundred ghostwriters. Oh my goodness, she is delusional. But then again, Champagne Thickums has been known to not write. So maybe that's why she compared herself to Champagne Thickums. And um, his dance album, Honestly Trash, that he put out last year, was one of his worst albums, by the way. Now moving on to Doja Badu. Um, she is number one on the Paola Hot 100 with The Town Is Dead. And allegedly, next week, she is set to compete with Olivia Rodrigo. Um, Vampire allegedly will go back to being number one because um, Olivia put out her sophomore album, which nobody's really talking about. I forgot she even had an album out. Like, I was like, damn, that album came out already? Um, so, you know, nobody's really talking about, but she will be going toe to toe with the princess of pop. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Is this number one well deserved? Or is it not well-deserved? I don't feel like it's well-deserved. In my opinion, I feel like um, the singles from Playing At Her were 10 times better than um, the singles from Scarlet. And I think that this is a payola push, not organic. I am not hating on Demonic Doja. It amazes me how if you don't like demons or um, antics, devil-worshipping antics, you're a hater. It amazes me how somebody can use payola and you call it out and you're a hater. It amazes me. I mean, when has cheating been cool? I don't understand. If your numbers are not organic, I'm going to call it out. I don't care about um, Doja being the favorite. 
okay, or deemed as unproblematic. She's very problematic, and a bald head scallywag will not be fooling me. Now, moving back on to Criminal B. Um, so Tasha K has put Criminal B on blast and exposed her big plan that her and Titanic have been orchestrating. Here's what Tasha K had to say. The 6 9 a female raps album was slated by Titanic to debut in November. But since a certain female rapper, a.k.a. Nicki Minaj, gave them their biggest hit during their lowest revenue quarter, a.k.a. Um, Barbie World, they opted to not release this album and waste the money a certain rapper generously made for them. But after this song debuted, she has been gone for so long they will release her album next year only if she's ready and can turn the public's perception of her being the mean girl around. Titanic has to bank on this and can't afford any more huge losses. Titanic Records is paying for the video music award stage. It's promo, merely an ad, which Nikki is getting paid by the video music awards to perform and host. Titanic is no longer competing with other rappers and are trying to brand the female 6 9 as a standalone. But unfortunately, her standing alone is a stretch. Her fans have all grown up and her music hasn't. She's dirty with two kids, a rocky marriage. Her music doesn't reflect her real life. The role wants Sexy Red who doesn't do nail shops or dermatologists or... <laughs> Classic is so messy. Out of touch is the moral of the story. Let me know, did Titanic Records pay for Criminal B and Megan Thee Stallion to take the Video Music Awards stage? Let me know. Is their master plan going to work? If they take the Video Music Awards stage and throw some shots at Nicki Minaj, okay? Because, you know, they are throwing shots in the record. So they're going to be performing it in front of Nicki Minaj. And, um, you know, this song could possibly shoot up the charts. You know, it could really move up um, with all the controversy. So maybe Criminal B's plan will work, okay? Um, but Tasha K, she better watch it because Cardi B's already on your ass. I'm sure Criminal B has sent this tweet to her lawyer, um, and they're probably going to use this against Tasha in court. Moving on to Scratch Off. Did Nikki stop Scratch Off's bag? Because fans want Criminal B to bring out Scratch Off to perform, put it in the trash, because unfortunately she will be at the Video Music Awards, but it doesn't look like she will be performing because she ain't got no hit songs. Um, allegedly, she was supposed to perform the Seven record with John Cook. I don't know what happened. Maybe something changed last minute, but a lot of fans are blaming Nicki Minaj for Scratch Off not performing, okay? And they're asking Criminal B to help Scratch Off perform at the Video Music Awards. Nicki is not stopping Scratch Off bags, okay? Scratch Offs don't got no bags to stop. Let's be very clear. And second of all, um, if she could stop Scratch Off from performing, wouldn't she stop Megan and Criminal B from performing? I mean, when are we going to use common sense? Like, y'all so slow. And put it in the trash is old. Nobody want to see that performance. Have several seats. On the other side of things, um, John Cook and Scratch Off are in the finals for the Song of the Summer at the Video Music Awards, okay? Personally, to me, I feel like the Song of the Summer should have went to Barbie World, but y'all didn't vote. I voted, but y'all didn't vote. So, it's between... Um, the Jonas Brothers and TXT, I don't know if that's pronounced right, but who I like that, and John Cook and Scratch Off 7. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Moving on to Queen B. So, uh, Megan Thee Stallion is supposed to be performing at this year's Global Citizens concert. And there has been a lot of speculation that um, Queen B will be performing with Megan Thee Stallion. You know, Queen Bee and Camel Face, they have always supported Global Citizens, performed several times, and people believe that Queen Bee and Megan Thee Stallion will finally be able to perform together. 
Now, Queen B has only performed with Nicki Minaj um, when it comes to female rappers. But Megan being under Devil Nation and having that Camel Face co-sign who has been protecting her throughout the industry, she can possibly perform with Queen B. But I feel like if Queen B really wanted to perform with Megan Thee Stallion, she would have done it by now. I mean, she's done Brung Out, Kendrick Lamar. She um, worked with Coldplay, did a concert with him, did a concert with Ed Sheeran. I mean, I don't understand if she wanted to bring out Megan, wouldn't she done it already? But maybe if she performs in Houston, she will. I don't know if she has performed in Houston, but maybe if she does, she finally will. Now, it has been just announced by the Video Music Awards that Nicki Minaj is set to make an announcement at the awards show. It's a surprise announcement. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, the announcement could be a few different things. Possibly a new single, okay? Which would prove that last time I saw you was to bait the other female rappers, okay? If she makes another single announcement. It could be an announcement for a tour, okay? That would be interesting. Or what if it's the documentary, okay? It could be a lot of different things. Now, if it's the next single, um, I would be interested in seeing what the next single is about. Um, I think that um, she should release the Chart Obsessed Racist collaboration, especially when 1989 is coming out, okay? And let me know who do you think um, is going to go on tour with Nicki Minaj because she did say that she will be touring the first quarter of 2024. Now, Ice, she's already on tour with Doja. Um, I don't know if she would be able to tour with Nikki and Doja. Maybe if Doja finishes up her um, tour quickly, because I know Ice won't be on every date. And Sexy Red is going on her own tour. So this definitely should be interested. I'm going to definitely be tuning in because I know that the Video Music Awards is about to be a messy award show. Anyway, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link would be in the description. Have a great day.